In stage 49, we're gonna be building up and testing Robbie's left leg. So take the servo motor, okay, that came with this stage, connect the cable as we've done before, removing the four screws. Okay, once you've done that, we then need to get Robbie's test neck, carefully making sure it's turned off, connecting up the servo as we've done before. Okay, once we've done that, we then need to assign it an ID of eight. So turn it on and then pressing up until we get to eight. Once we've got there, press and hold the test and it flashes. Once you've done that, we can then do a test so the server goes from left to right and back to center. Okay. Once you've done that, turn it off, carefully disconnect, and then next we're going to be fitting that to Robbie's knee, take off the cover, carefully fit the connector. to the servo like so feed the cable through the hole like so carefully bring in the servo into position and then with the four screws secure the servo into place, okay? Once we've done that, we'll come back and we'll then, once again, test the knee for full movement, okay? Once again, connect the short servo cable into CN6, which is the second one along closest to the memory card, and then take the battery. Once again, it will do the same movements, but you'll also see the servo that we've just done that should move as well. Okay, so get the battery, connect it up, and then left to right, backwards to forwards, and then the other servo, and then once again, okay, once we've done that, we can then disconnect the battery, disconnect the cable, and that completes this stage. In stage 50, we're going to be preparing to join Robbie's legs for the first time. So, take the inner hip frame that came with this stage, okay, which is the largest out of the three parts. And once again, connect that up to the servo, making sure that you've got that connected up nicely, okay, in the right position. And press that into position, like so. Now in this part of the stage, we're gonna be working on Robbie's right leg, okay? So take the servo, which was from stage 33 of an ID2, okay? And just notice the orientation of how it's gonna be fitting. And then connect up the servo, as we've done before, carefully placing that into position and then place the servo 
into its housing and then using two of the long screws secure the servo. Now take the right outer hip frame and you can identify that with the R that is on the inside of the circle part and place the cable through the hole from the inside, carefully feeding it up and then you'll notice that there's a channel and this cable has to go into that channel and then you line it up, bringing it forward and then placing that over the joint and then once you've done that take the other two long servo screws and then screw those in securing the ankle joint the knee joint into position Now in the final part of this stage we're going to be testing the assembly so once again take the board with the SD card place the longest cable from the servo into the closest gap connector to the SD card and then get your battery ready hold the foot down and then plug battery in Then carefully remove the battery, carefully remove the connector, and that completes this stage.